Hundreds of students at Manchester University are staging a rent strike to protest what they say are expensive and substandard conditions in their accommodation. <laughs> got, a, got a young John Sobel here. Yes. A key staple of this flat. They say they've told the university but improvements still aren't being made. The news agent spoke to three of them, Fraser, Wolfie and Mayer. Yeah, Cozy, it's, isn't uh, it? It's not fantastic. I mean, it's 70% of my entire maintenance loan, uh, which I'm already getting into thousands of pounds of debt for. This room is 70% um, of your entire maintenance loan? Yeah. I mean, that's what I had to work over the summer to be able to make sure I'd actually be able to afford stuff on top of this. And it's, uh, it's not the most glamorous uh, room. I mean, obviously, students don't have high expectations, but it's... Uh, so how much is it? Yeah. Um, just under £5,000 a year. If I had a wash basin, I think it would be an extra grand nearly. You do just feel like, like a commodity because they, they literally they give you the cheapest possible accommodation. They treat you like a money-making scheme, basically. It feels like a scam. Like each student? Really. It feels like a scam? I think it's disgraceful, to be honest, and it's disrespectful to students to actually think that it's fair to treat them like that when you're making over £100 million surplus a year. But I think it's the thing about your heating there. I mean, if yeah, that doesn't... Fair. If that is supposed to be on, and you've got single glazed windows, which means it must be pretty hard to see, but I couldn't see about that as a result of being so close to the main road. But if that's supposed to be on, I mean, that's terrible. Yeah, I've, I have a, yeah, It's freezing yeah. outside, it's been snowing today. Yeah. It, it's not ideal. I, I know a lot of students who actually put off coming back to university because it's cheaper being at home. Like, the home's warmer, like, they've got more food, stuff like that. And they're actually putting off as late as they possibly can to come back to the uni accommodation. I've had inconsistent hot water, I've had a broken extractor fan, I've had a broken kitchen tap. Well, there are days at the moment, you know, pretty cold at the moment, yeah, it's snowing yeah, yeah, in the northwest. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the day that we're speaking. Yeah. There are days when you haven't got hot yeah, water. I go into the shower expecting something nice steamy and it's, you know, spine tingling, cold. And that's why I've decided to strike because I don't think the rent that I'm paying is a fair price for what I've been receiving. Obviously, the shower as well. Kitchen is a, is a dire state, there's poor ventilation, we've had the extractor fan, there's no windows in the kitchen. Um, we've had to put a bucket under the sink to catch all the water, which has itself then collapsed under the weight of the shelf. Um, it's, it's, it's why we're striking and we just want, ideally, a fair, fair value rent. What is, what's the university's attitude towards you and your fellow students with regards to this stuff? Very dismissive, if I'm honest. The university, I feel very distant from natural university with it. So we're left to just live with these problems. And so university, to me, I don't, when I look at my accommodation, I very much resent the university for their actions and their, um, how they deal with it. Um, we've had rats and mice, that's like a constant thing. Got you got rats? Fruit. Yeah, the first rat that we saw was in like mid-October and ever since then we've had like rats and mice coming in and out and we've reported it many times. They're living rent free, yeah, but yeah. I'm thinking of starting to charge them, I think we should pay half rent, I think that's only fair. Since 2004, which is the year most students in Oak House were born, um, the rent has actually gone up by 100% in Oak House. It was 54 quid a week in 2004 and it's currently 110 and as you can see the conditions have saved the exact same. In 2022 alone the university made an 112 million surplus from accommodation and the 9 million that they spent on us is less than 10% of that surplus so they could be doing a lot more to help us. Do you think you're getting value for money for your degree in the 9 grand a year you're paying? Uh, I really don't think we are getting value for money. Um, I think there's sort of been a massive marketisation of higher education uh, it's becoming very run for uh, like run for profit almost with the uh, 119 million pound surplus that the uni has. Uh, sort of the investment in sort of real estate essentially by building new buildings with the money from their massive reserves. We're paying a lot of money and it doesn't seem to be going on anything. Um, I'm paying yet yeah, 9,200 and something pound a year for my tuition fee. Uh, but the uni surplus is the equivalent to over 12,000 students' entire tuition fee. Seminar and tutorial is four hours a week for the last semester, it was. And yeah, it's just not, it's not okay. It's not good value for money. And I think students nationally are being ripped off. But I think a lot of people are hesitant to complain because you know when you go to uni that you're going to get into massive debt. But that doesn't mean it's right. Just because it's been going on for a while doesn't mean we should put up with it. We contacted the University of Manchester for comment and they said this. The University of Manchester residences have a pest control contract in place to help maintain standards. Professionals attend eight scheduled visits a year to each of our halls to undertake inspections and carry out preventative treatments as required. In addition, we have a reactive service that responds to issues raised through the building's maintenance reporting system. When necessary, we provide advice and support to residents to help prevent pests being attracted.
This isn't only an issue at Manchester. Students across the country report increasingly expensive accommodation, if they can even get any at all. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 